Okay, so we're going to create a mosaic. So a mosaic is typically a type of art that arranges tesseras into a pattern on a floor or a wall. And tesseras are just small pieces of colored stone, glass, or other materials. So typically this is what it looks like when you think of a mosaic. Uh, mosaics are one of the earliest forms of art. They date back to the third millennium BCE and Mesopotamia. So here is uh, a mosaic from Mesopotamia where they did these walls. And then as time went on, um, ancient Greece and ancient Rome were well known for their mosaics. But then as time went on, medieval Christian and Islamic cultures also embraced mosaic art. So here are a couple examples from that time period. And then art today, like modern art, has taken the idea of mosaics and kind of modified it in a different way. So bende dots, which are the use of layered dots and color in printed media and pop art is an example of kind of how we use tessera or pieces of small things to create a bigger image or how we use pixels in digital art. So those are kind of modern mosaics. Here are some other kind of modern mosaic ideas. We call this kind of like installation art where this artist used all post-it notes or this artist used all push pins to create these artworks. But like I said, we're going to use Google Draw and we're going to create a mosaic using small um, shapes. So I'm gonna kind of show you what that's going to look like. So we're gonna use Google Draw today, which is in your Google Drive. You're going to use what's called a polyline tool and then we're going to use the border color tool and the paint bucket like we did on our practice. So this is going to kind of show you what you are going to be doing Today we're going to do just a practice so that you guys get used to using the tools before you guys work on your final one tomorrow, which is going to be way more detailed than today. Okay, so what you will do is you will select an image for your final project. Today, I selected an image for you that everyone's going to do the same one. All right, so for example, this is uh, what we're going to use for the example today, and then this is the polyline tool at the top. So if you look, you're going to scroll down. There's all these different, all these different line options, but you're going to use what's called the polyline where it kind of looks like this arrow. When you're using the polyline tool, you kind of just drag to create your shape. So see how we're building it right on top of the image. And for the example, we're just making like a triangle. Okay, so that's creating a layer on top of your photo. And then now what you need to do is you need to change it so it's, it is the same color as the bird. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go up to the outline tool, which is like this pencil, and you're going to make it transparent. That way you don't even see an outline anymore. Then you're going to go up to your paint bucket tool and you're going to create a custom color to match the body of the bird. So if you look at the yellows, None of them are quite correct, so we're going to make a custom color. The, the body of the bird is actually kind of like a, it's like a tone or a shade almost. It kind of has like a black or gray undertone to it. So you're going to have to create a color as close as you can. And it might take some trial and error before you get the exact color that you need. So once you have it, it should almost disappear into the body of the bird to where you almost don't see it anymore. Then you're just going to continue creating shapes. And the nice thing now is when you create the next shape, you're already going to have that color because you already created it. But in order to make a mosaic, you need to leave a tiny space in between the shapes. So we're going to create another one. And then you're just going to keep going. Now, as you move along, um, the body of the bird might change color, so you might have to switch the color that you're using. And as you can see, we're kind of just building a bunch of little triangle shapes. Leaving a little space in between each one.
So it gets lighter at the top of the bird's head. So that's why we change the color of the yellow. Okay, so that's your first step. All right, then when you are completely done, so now you can kind of see how the entire body of the, the bird is filled in. You'll need to try and go to the next color and then continue until you have the whole image done. The only thing you wouldn't do is the background. So you would do the bird, you would do the, the twig or whatever it's standing on, and then you would leave the background for last, okay? So now I'm going to show you how you would do the background. So if the entire bird is done, then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the image of the bird and you're going to move it away from the screen. So now you just have your mosaic left, okay? And the nice thing about Google Draw is it has a transparent background. So now you can create your custom background. So you're going to go up to the shape tool, which is kind of this circle and square together at the top. You're going to insert a square. And then you're going to create a color for the background. So I'm going to use a gradient and I'm going to create a custom gradient. Just to make it a little bit more interesting in the back. And then you see that the background is now in front. So we have to arrange the image so that the background goes behind the mosaic. So you're going to go up to arrange at the top and you're going to send it to the back so that it becomes your background. Okay. So that's kind of how you're going to complete the entire project. Now we're going to go over that again tomorrow, but for today I've created this assignment in Google classroom for you. Okay. So everyone has the same thing. It's just a tomato, that way it's simple for everyone. When we do our practice today, we're just gonna make the shapes big so that you're kind of just getting familiar with all the tools. This is going to be due by tomorrow night. So in the case that you don't get it done today, you have tomorrow to finish it if you need to. So here is my practice one, okay? I've already put in the image for you. Your background is already transparent. So just a reminder, you're going to go to the line tool, which is at the top right here. You're going to go down to the polyline tool, and then you're going to start creating your shapes. So when I say you can go big on this practice one, you can go pretty big because I don't want you spending forever on it. Okay. Then reminder, you're going to go to your border. You're going to make it transparent, and then you're going to try and fill in the color the best that you can. So that doesn't match. So if you find a good one, great. If you don't, you might need to create a custom color. And you might have to play with it until you get what you need, okay? So um, that's what you're going to do today. You need to make sure that your project from last week is done and turned in. And 